Hey guys, welcome to Tech Vitals. Today we are going to learn about OS module. Basically, OS module provides us the ability to interact with the operating system. It offers many OS functions like navigating the file system, getting the file information, making and removing files and folders, and so on. And we will be learning some of the useful functions of OS module. So let's get started. Here we can see that we are using OS underscore module file and we know that it is inside this tutorial folder. Now to get the full path of this file, we can use os.getcwd method and let's import the OS module first. Okay, so here we want to print the current working directory. So get cwd is get current working directory and we know that we are inside this tutorial folder but this method will give us the full path of this file so let's run this so it printed the full path of our current working directory so we are inside c drive slash d drive slash python slash projects slash tutorial so this is our current working directory now let's find out what files and folders are inside this tutorial directory so to get the list of all the files and folders we can use os.listdir method so let's print and you can see so this returns the list of all the files and folders that are inside this directory so we can see we have best.py cert.pem class inheritance.py all these different files we can also see here and we know that we have these two folders inside tutorial testing and venv so if we scroll a little bit we will find testing and venv which are the folders or directories now we know that our current working directory is this tutorial folder but let's say we want to go inside this testing folder so we need to change our current working directory to change the directory we can use os.chdir so change directory and we can provide the path we can give the full path here that is c drive slash d drive python slash projects slash tutorial so this is our current working directory but we want to go inside testing and we can remove this print function and after changing directory we can print the current working directory and now let's try to run this and we are getting the error because of this slash t and slash t is an escape character to insert the tab so to fix this we can add one more slash and this should fix it so let's try to run again okay so now as you can see in this line we changed our directory from tutorial folder to testing folder and when we print the current working directory we get this testing folder now inside testing we have another folder called testing2 and we have two files called file2 and ha 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 so yeah I like to give the funny names okay so if we print os.listdir it should print testing2 and these two files so let's print this and as you can see we have file2.py ha ha ha.py these two are files then we have testing2 which is the directory and we have this uh, PyCast, which is just a system file for the Python. Now here it can be confusing sometimes 
because it returns the list of all the files and directories. So we have no idea that if testing2 is a file or directory, right? So if you want to see the list of folders only, what we can do is let's use the for loop for item in os.listdir if os.path.isdir and let's pass the item then print item so here we are running the for loop for this list of files and folders and we are checking for the folder only or the directory only and if that item is the folder then we will print that item so basically here it should print testing and this pycast as well so let's run this and as you can see it printed testing2 and this system folder likewise if you want to print the list of files you can change this is dir to is file and now it will print only the files that are inside this directory so let's print this and we got file 2 and ha 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 now let's create a new folder inside this directory so we can do os dot mkdir that is make directory and let's say new folder and let's run this and as you can see the new folder has been created inside this testing folder now if you want to create multiple directories you can use os dot make dirs make directories and let's say folder 1 slash folder 2 slash folder 3 so here we are basically creating the chain of folders so this should create folder 1 and inside folder 1 it will create folder 2 and inside folder 2 it will create folder 3 so let's remove this one and let's run this now as you can see we have this folder 1 inside testing inside folder 1 we have folder 2 and inside folder 2 we have folder 3 okay now let's remove the folder to remove it we can use os.rmdir that is remove directory and let's remove new folder let's run this now the new folder has been removed now let's also remove all of these three folders folder 1 folder 2 and folder 3 for that we can use os.removedirs and let's pass folder 1 slash folder 2 slash folder 3 So now all these three folders have been removed. Now let's try to rename this file. So here we have a file called hahaha.py. Now we want to rename this file. To do that we can use os.rename. So we can give the original name that is hahaha.py. And we can give the new name. So let's give it new file dot pi and let's run this and as you can see it removed the ha 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 into new file dot py okay now let's create a new file to create a new file we don't need to use os module we can just use the open function so we can just use file equals open and let's say test.txt and we can use the w to open this file in write mode so if you run this here 
it creates test.txt file which is an empty file okay so here we have created this test.txt inside this testing folder so the path is this and the file is test.txt okay so we have file equals the whole path slash test.txt and since it is slash t we can use another slash so this is the full path of test.txt and now if we print os.path.base name and let's pass this file here we are trying to print the base name of this file test.txt and the base name is basically the name of that file so the name of the file is test.txt so if we print this it will print test.txt which is the base name of this file now instead of base name if we print dir name so the directory name is the full path of the directory where this file is saved or where this file exists and that is this path so inside testing folder we have test.txt so the dir name must be this path so let's try to print this and here we got the full path of this file but remember that this dir name does not include the file name itself but if we print the base name it will only print the file name without the path now if you want to know the base name of the file and also the path of that file we can use split method so os.path.split and that file and now if you run this here it returns the tuple and the first value is the path so testing folder and the second value is the base name that is test.txt so full path and the base name now if you want to know if this test.txt exists or not we can use os.path.exists and let's run this so it returns true that means we have test.txt inside this path but let's say we want to check for test1.txt and if we run this it returns false because we don't have any file called test1.txt now if you want to test if this test.txt is a file we can use os.path.is file and let's run this it returns true because test.txt is a file but if we check if this test.txt is directory then it should return false like this but let's check for this testing folder so this testing is a folder that is testing is a directory so now this method should return true and it is true now we know that this test.txt is a text file because it has this txt extension and if you want to split that extension you can use os.path.split ext that is split extension and if we run this 
So here, the first value is the full path of this file without the extension. So we can see uh, it prints test and the second value is the extension that is .txt. So this method will be helpful if you want the name of the file without its extension. Let's say if this file was text.py and if we use this split extension method it returns .py as the extension and let's say if you want to print only the extension you can just use the slicing so here you can use one and if you print this you will get .py and if you want to print the full path of that file without its extension you can use 0 and you will get the full path and the file name without its extension so these are some of the basic and common functions and methods that we can use with OS module I hope it was a helpful short lesson so that's gonna do it for this video I'll see you soon with the next video. Till then, keep learning. Goodbye.